Oh shit, I usually fades out, but it didn't. Hello! Welcome to episode 88! When this show gets to 88, you're going to see some serious shit. And here it is. Um, welcome to part two of Grim Fandango. And it's not just me here. In fact, I'm going to switch switch screens. I'm going to switch to this screen here. So you can see that joining us once again for more... Uh, uh, Grim Fandango is the ever wonderful Nutty Cluster. Hello. Just a glutton for punishment. I preferred ever wonderful, but okay. <laughs> I'll settle for that. It's not bad. <laughs> Good. Um. Okay. So, um, previously, uh, in episode eighty-seven, we were um, <coughs> coughing and also struggling through the weird, weird land of Grim Fandango. Um, so, it's the one thing I haven't done is grab a steam window. So busy getting the audio oh. working. <laughs> um, so there's not a window called Steam, but there's a window called Grim Fandango. It sounds promising. Oh, it does sound promising. Okay. So what I'm going to do this week is, uh, so last week on the video, we switched to um, a big screen, but it wasn't a very good capture. It was a bit jerky. Right. So we're going to stick with this screen now. Cool. We're going to stick on people, people actually looking at you, just so you're mm. aware. Yep. Okay. I knew you'd like that. Uh, so, where were we? Well, we were in a little room, banished to a little room because we stole the um, the soul of uh, one of our uh, colleagues off one of our colleagues. Um, and here we are. Can you hear that okay? I can. Super. So this is the workshop where our driver was... Where it initially Lotus's introduced our workshop, driver. isn't it? Yes. Um, so, as always, it looks like it dispenses something called philodent. <laughs> that looks like the only thing we can touch. No. Oh. No. I don't see anyone out there. Hey, is anybody out there? So, yep. Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? <laughs> Who's Get out cracked, there? Flunky. I'm you. Or rather, I think that's our last choice, isn't it? Once we've done all the others. Ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. Get me out of here. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Ooh. <laughs> the DOD runs a crooked game. The DOD, believe oh. it or not. Mm. Good not quick boy. enough. You just keep up that spirit, and I'm sure you'll get out of here soon enough. Oh. That was the end of that chat, then. Oh, you can do it. Knock on him again. Hey, guard! How's my little Count of Monte Cristo? <laughs> Cramped. Ready for walkies. If you are still cool. loyal, lay down and roll over and bark the company fight song. I know. Cookie game. Do you want to do the crooked game, dear? Yeah. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. 
We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? You I've got it turned down too much. Unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny. I was once a reaper like yourself, man. I did have to just turn it off. I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I can't do anything while we're talking. The Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone. Like babies, Manuel. Like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. What happened? Hey. Okay. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. Any messages Any for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! <laughs> Doesn't Kapal yeah, wonder yeah. where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. <sighs> Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. I'm off. Fight the good fight, babe. <laughs> Do you think we need to get him to give us a mission or something? I did wonder if we might have to go back up to see who the man in the fez is. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do that then. This computer shut off. <laughs> we salvaged that unit when the company threw it away, but we have yet to get it working. When we do, we'll need you to get us into the system. I'll be long gone before then. We'll see, Manuel. We could climb up the outside. Oh yeah, okay. Through the window. Yeah. Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. <laughs> Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they only do qualify, on Manuel. Especially her, but somehow, somebody <laughs> with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. Grab some pigeons off the roof? If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. Okay. There we go. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. 
You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. I'm off. Farewell, Agent Calavera. And viva la revolución! I have to remember all the controls. Was that door open before? No. Oh, that's um, into the Glottis's way, isn't it? Right, okay. At least we know we're going to have to go up. To the top of the roof and get the pigeon Curtains eggs, are shut. You know. He said look in the window to see who the fat man was. I Curtains, think so, yeah. Curtains are shut. Oh, fuck. The drapes are drawn. Dom and Dom must still be in there. Okay. Well, even that very end one there, that looks blue. You can't get that far Fate along. Oh, okay. This is this has got to be. Yeah. Why does it keep missing though? What am I doing wrong? You know, does it need something heavier on the end? Look, you can't select it if you don't have them in your hands. You don't have the rope, yeah. Uh, Are you sure you can't get round to that other office? I'm happy to have a try. Hmm, Dom's office is empty. Aha. Uh -huh. There's nobody in Domino's office. <coughs> Go in there. Okay. All right, so we're around. What the? There's something what? glowing in there. Something what? Growing. It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. Glowing. Glowing. Oh, Doesn't pocket do much that. But glow. No messages in Dom's fancy red tube. I'm gonna try to guess his password. It's not golden boy. <laughs> he doesn't even hide his booze in a file cabinet. What kind of salesman is he? Did we just come in here just for that coral? Um, um we should be able to find his punch bag. Oh, we can find that, yeah. Uh, well, I can see it. I don't know if I can get ah. Ooh. I can't go strolling through the halls now. I'm on the lam. Dominoes in all these pictures, shaking hands with dead celebs. Oh, there you go. Grab that blue thing. Where's he? Why is he going over there? Okay. Hey? It's all right, he was walking around. So, there we go. 
Tie the coral to the rock. When we get back out on the ledge. Ugh, Domino had this in his mouth. Ugh. Pocket it though. Oh! Ugh! Yeah, well, now I know what Domino tastes like. <laughs> it's not like pizza. We'll keep it, because we know it's going to come in useful somewhere. Oh, it's made me feel a little queasy. Really? <laughs> you think, yeah. Jesse? I can't think about math cards as well. So now at least we've got something heavy to go on the end of that rope so we can go up the ladder. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> Thank you. What's that? Oh, fire extinguisher. Is that the coral? Yeah. Congratulations, I think so. Domino, on your new job, Hector. Doesn't do much but glow. I wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. That gives me the heebies and all. <laughs> oh, these massive walks. Uh. Chased me off. Okay. I don't like the looks of those pigeons. Oh, what happened to the bread we had? It's still in our pocket, I think. Oh no, we shoved it into the. Um... No, really. We've got a balloon cat. Hmm. Think pigeons like bread. We need to get another loaf. Maybe. Oh, that's a pain in the bum, isn't it? Shoot! Shoot! Watch it! <laughs> Just proves the pigeons are evil. Yeah. Well, we know where there's a bread shop at the stall. Yeah, it's just going to take hours to get there because this game is so fucking slow.
we get two pieces of bread just in case we need it again for another thing? Yes. Do we know how much we can hold? I, I don't know. I'll just take a little more bread to honor the dead. I'll just take a little more bread to honor the dead. Uh, just in case we make a mistake. We get a we got that little thumbs up like thing that it's assumed to suggest we're doing the right thing. Oh, okay. Oh man, the in-between bits is just so long. It's his little short legs, he can't walk very fast. Yeah, I, I sympathize with him. I have the same struggle myself in real life. If we were um if we were playing on Open MU, you can yeah. <laughs> hit a button and run it at double That's speed. Cool. <coughs> <laughs> I have questions about the fat man. The fat man in the hat? Yeah. How is he a fat man if he's a skeleton? I guess in the same way that Manny looks slightly well built and he's a skeleton in it. Mm. He might not be a man, he might be a demon. And maybe. I think he might be like a. the definition of big bone. It could be. It could be exactly big bone. crumbs all over oh we put it in like that bowl or something if I just hand it to them I'm liable to lose a finger or two Looks like we have to scare them as well, then. Okay. With a balloon cap? Yeah, maybe. Are we putting more bread in this? I think so, yeah. Glad we brought two. We need to do the um, cap balloon first on it. Do the cap first, you say? Yeah, cap balloon first. Oh, that noise goes through me. <laughs> See if we can put it in the bowl, maybe. Hmm, they don't look scared. I think they're actually laughing at me. Yep, I think. Hey. Use it on the bowl. Maybe that will scare them, eventually. Ah, and then eventually. put the bread on top of it and they might pop it when they're eating. Gotcha, right, okay. Ah, so convoluted. 
Yeah. Good job we got two breads, isn't it? Yeah. Now get ready to run for the eggs. It doesn't run anywhere. Right, they've gone. Okay. So, Ed. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. Man, are those pigeons gonna be ticked? Man, are those pigeons oh. gonna be no, ticked? Sat, sat. Man, one, are those it? pigeons gonna be ticked? All right. So the next bit is still quite convoluted and I don't quite get why we're doing it, but we need to go back down to Glottis' office. Don't we need to give these eggs to? Not yet. Oh, okay. Ooh, the longer we've got them in our pockets, the more likely we are to break them. Well, be gentle. Oh, the long walk across the garage. Right, now you need to use the gum shield with that fix a dent thing machine. Okay. That's not weird at all. I don't know why we're doing this at this point. Fill a dent. Good for dents, great for dentures. Uh, get him to bite it then. Use it. There you go. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth and then quite a chalky aftertaste too. Yep, a perfect fit. Okay, pocket those then. Now we need to go and find our way back into the LSA to deliver the eggs.
guessing this is what they... Aging Calavera, and to guess. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you, Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom uh, has its price. That's why we needed it. Needed what? It said we need your dental work to work the computer. We've just taken the passion of his teeth. Did he say dental work? Yeah. Right. I think he said dental Where work. Where does this go? To a secret tunnel out of the city. But it opens for members of the LSA only. So do we need to make a set of teeth? with the thing we've got, or can we... Yeah, this um, computer shut speak off. Speak to Ava. Do what? Speak to Ava. I have a little craft project here I want to show you. Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. <laughs> you are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. If you want to find your lost soul, how do you know where she is? I don't. But everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament, and therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. That was some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. Okay. <laughs> Blood is my friend. Why are you crying? Betty? Oh, Betty! They fired me! <laughs> me too, buddy. You don't understand, Betty. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods to... <laughs> Gladys, what have you done? Oh, Gladys. Oh, no. Are you okay? <laughs> Alright, we need to go towards that then, don't we? have Gladys' heart in their web. Uh, it's stuck in there good. 
Okay. What's in that bone pile? It's an ugly pile of bones, like me. <laughs> Pick one I up. I guess I could always use a spare. <laughs> use it on the spider web, maybe? Soup's on! Huh, they don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. Hmm, side? There's already a bone in there. Pocket the bone, use your scythe. Not only for dead people. Spiders, no more demon hard to eat. I felt it fired off a different direction, but we can only go back this way. Yeah. Oh, can we put it back in it? It's still beating. If I were Scottish, I might be able to play something on it. But I'm not. Heart is good, strong, beating good heart. Hey, is that my car? <laughs> no. Mr. Lamonds, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living? That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad, but not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! Oh yeah, down there. Down this oh, way, oh. oh there's ways to go. Can we Okay, just explore. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay. Hey, wait a second. Scoop doing this shit. Riding street rod, not a four by four. We don't have the clearance for that kind of road. Okay. 
Híjole, mano. What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. Gladys? What are they doing to that tree? Oh, city boy! You work all day in a 60-story skyscraper, but didn't you ever wonder what it was made of? The marrow of these trees, man. They suck it out. It's like cement. Is that why the town's called El Marrow? Huh? Never thought of that. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> Need to find out what Smithine does then, yeah? Things like this place gives me the creeps. I'm ready to go when you are. Which is up. Ooh, careful, Manny! With the harmonic balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high-lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon! Hold on. I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake it down for sure. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. The switch is down. It's that up. should do it. Still not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little. Can we put the stones on the wires? Or the wheelbarrow? That would make a decent go kart. Is stopping a different one each time, yeah. Yeah, okay. So we've got to get them synchronized, haven't we? I presume. I don't know. The, the right, the left hand side ones look synchronized. I think we need the left and the right hand moving together. So the two on the right hand moving at the same time, and then the two on the left hand moving at the same time. Right. Oh, this is going to be fiddly as fuck. And my internet's really weird as well, so I'm not, I can't <laughs> tell you when to stop, so this is all down to you, okay? Thank you. 
That's it. That's still enough. Is that enough, though? I don't know. I think. Oh. Turn it off. Turn it back on again. I don't know. Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. I mean, it's wobbling more, isn't it? Yeah. When he's okay. when he's up there, Just turn the machine on again. To balance these doggies. Hey, Benny! What are you doing? Manny, until now we scraped along the ground like rats. But from now on we soar. Like eagles. <laughs> Like eagles on pogo sticks! What a relief. I was getting <laughs> concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in, or are you afraid of heights? <laughs> Right, it says northwest to me, so I presume it's that way. Manny! What are you doing? Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny? They'll make you into a <laughs> dam! Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But I'm Manny, they time. don't use wood. Sworn using the fire oh, extinguisher no. on him. That's not on fire. That's not on fire. No <laughs> Alright, I'm confused with this one. This river seems to be made of tar, but those beavers just seem to cut through it like water. No, I don't think I could swim a single stroke in that tar. Okay. I think we're somewhere where we don't need to be right now. Okay. Might be wrong. I don't think we can get past them just by sneaking past them. I don't know. Nope. Oh! Uh, <laughs> you know, he's very fast when he's being chased by a demon fucking beaver. Yeah. Look out! I think a signpost. There's a big old padlock on this outer gate. So we need a key. I couldn't take that off with my bare hands. If yeah. only I hadn't thrown away that little hand exercise or domino got me for Secret Santa. Okay. Go back to the bung wagon if we can. I'm 
I'm thinking the next project should be wings. Okay, we need to go back to where we were. Come on, Gladys. Let's crash through this gate and drive right over those little monsters. Mm, no way, Manny. Oh, those flaming bone beavers are mean. They bite, they claw, and if one of them wrapped around my drive shaft, I'd be picking flaming hunks of fur out of my U joint for months. Your drive shaft, I'm not eh? going down there until you get rid of them. Uh. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, there's the signpost. Sorry, I'm pointing. There we go. Thank you. you can't do anything with you it. You need to pick the cat up. Need to? You need to get out of the bone wagon. Yeah, I can't do that. We can't fit down there. I ain't driving back to town, Manny. Do I have to leave Lotus somewhere? I don't know. Back on foot? Can't, you can't just get out the door. No, I don't have the option to go back. It says exit in the, the bone wagon, <laughs> which from this screen, and then pick up the sign from this screen. You, yeah, you need to pick that sign up. Oh, I don't know. There's no other sign. There's no other sign. This is old bomb wagon. You don't actually get out of the top of the Yeah. Let's go back over here. the next bit. I'm thinking the next project should be wings. I left my tow truck back in my other suit. Hold on, is there a sign on Oh yeah, what's that little white thing? Is it? We'll find out after a few hours walk. Nothing important, I don't think, or the screen would have changed. Yeah. Oh, I'm confused. Yeah. So it says, There's no door on this trailer. I think it's just a big generator. See, so the screen doesn't even change now. Right. So it says here, while you think room with the machine, switch the machine on again, which we did. Then we have the cutscene. Yeah. Then it says, exit the bone wagon and grab the sign that's on the floor. Then take off in a northwesterly direction. Ooh, no 
southwest, that'll be back to that place with all the holes. Never get shredded with, yeah, wood. But that's probably why we need the sign. Yeah. There must be a way of exiting the bone wagon within that direction a bit. There is, I've not hit the right button yet. Right. Go without me. No, I can't get out. I don't know. I don't know then. So wherever I move my mouse, moves the bone wagon too. Yeah. Oh, there we go, we saw. Okay, that's what exit does. Oh, you went right. That's why it says exit the bone wagon. Yeah. Out of the way! This sample seems to be pointing the way to Rubakava. Head in northwesterly direction. <laughs> and then it says to solve the next puzzle, you need to pop that sign in the ground and head off in the direction indicated. When you've moved a little bit further away, pop the sign down again and repeat this until you find yourself in an underground cave. No room for that. Where are we putting it? Just any anywhere? And then we go in the direction where it points to? Okay. Fair. So, yeah, that's where it's pointing. Okay. You, you move in that... I think you pick the thing up and move in that direction and then plonk it down again. I don't think you need the bone wagon for this bit. This is Manny walking. Oh, I just thought it'd be quicker. <laughs> I mean, I can't even see the sign, where is it? No, it's really bad. See ya. I'm presuming you pick up the sign and you walk in the direction that the sign told you, and then you plonk it down again. Oh, okay. And then it'll readjust and just keep going until you end up in the cave. On foot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the sign's pretty. Yeah, that way. So I walk through that and then come back to the sign, yeah? I don't know. <laughs> they touch say. Walk a little bit further, grab the sign, plonk the sign back down again. One eternity later. Uh -huh. Are you 
up the sign, take a video again. No. Oh, I got a sign, I'm taking a video. At least I stepped in. Oh. Wake me up when you're done. That's what Perhaps, yeah, so it's pointing to a hole we can't see, so every time we move around. Oh, so you need to move in, yeah, okay. So you can move in the direction, just yeah. hope you hit the right spot. Look, it's still pointing in the same direction. So let's walk a That's little it. bit further with it. about bloody time. That's not far off where I put that cross, is it? <laughs> Loteria. Okay, walk on down. Be key in there somewhere. Course, he's right at the back of the scene and it'll take him an hour to walk in. <laughs> oh, I thought he'd be nearer than that. <laughs> Manny, with your stumpy little legs. Come oh, on. I mean, we've seen you running. We know you can. like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart bone by bone and build with you a human throne. Their buck tooth king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Can't pass up an old creepy right, key. Doesn't do much by itself. They'll tear you apart and build oh, with gosh. you a human throne. Their buck tooth <laughs> king will sit upon <laughs> what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Sorry, I've just done some extra walking. Oh, no. Uh, we need we need Matt um Glottis for this bit, don't we? Do we? Why? Does the instructions say so? What are you looking for? Doesn't do much by itself. Oh, I see. What are we supposed to use with it if it doesn't do much by itself? Yeah. With those okay, monsters on the other side, the I'm then. happy with this thing locked. Where are you going? I thought you were going down to the beavers. Oh, was I? For what? We've not got anything else, just get rid of them. No, but I we got to the section where it tells me what happens. <laughs> so I can tell you what to do now. Ah. Right, a bit of 
beaver action. A bit of bone and beaver action. So you need to take a bone. Yeah. And throw it into the Icky River. You have to do this three times now for every once for every big beaver. I like to save bones for special occasions. Oh, do I have to go down here to throw it in? Yeah. I like to save bones for special occasions. This is special occasions. Throw it. Come on. Beavers like to chase the bones. Okay, another twice then, please. Oh look, it's back. Oh, maybe, maybe another three times. They ignore you if you're picking up bones. Okay. Oh, sorry, I missed out a bit from the last bit. So, what you need to do is throw the bone, get your fire extinguisher out quickly, and as the beaver jumps for it, you extinguish the beaver with, with the extinguisher. What? And you have to do that for three beavers. So, get quick on the old actions. There we go. That works. Oh, did you get it? I don't know. Either. I... Oh, there is one that. Oh no, there's not. I like to save bones for special occasions. We know, Manny. Got that one. You got that one. It's a shame you can't pick up three bones, isn't it? Yeah. And do it all at once. Okay, there's definitely less feet this thing. Right? Try. 
I think once we get this bit sorted and then we go back to Glottis, yeah. we'll end up going to Rubicabra. Rubicabra? That'd probably be a good place to stop. Okay. If you want, yeah. But it's quarter tonight. Missed that one. Did you miss it? Oh, yeah, my internet I, is so I, patchy. I'm seeing it. I moved rather than squirted. Oh, story of your life. <laughs> Sorry. Got to stop now? No, I'll like to sort this beaver out before we go. I think I think it can get past with just if there's just one left. Yeah. for putting out in pro. A beaver putting out? <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm concerned that if I try and walk past it, it'll push me out of the building and then I'll come back in and it'll be three. I don't even think I've got one anymore. No, I don't think I could swim a single stroke in that tar. Well, what happened to that? Look, you, you pocketed it. How can I tell what bone, it is? Ooh, something has sucked the marrow out. Okay. I thought I was going to have to go all the way back then. Does that mean I've got a pocket full of bones? <laughs> Should be no hot beaver left. Yep, that looks like no hot beaver to me. And the music's changed, so that's a good sign. Right, back out the way you came now. Oh. Do we not go across and see what's over here? You can if you want, but you, I think you need um, man, not Manny, Glottis to be driving. That road leads out of the forest, I'm sure. But I don't think I'd get very far on foot. Plus, how could I leave without Gladys? Here we go. to undo this. 
And do what? Perhaps, perhaps it'll work now. This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. You're dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. and the whole town's asleep. But I don't want a drag race. When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town, Pin. You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. <laughs> God, plot this is annoying, isn't he? Isn't he just? Okay. We have saved. Um, okay. Well, normally I'd go back to a big screen to say goodbye, but, but hey, let's not. Let's just leave it on this and say um, thank you. Naughty Cluster for joining us. Um, how how okay. many uh, do? Uh, how many weeks will we be playing this? I don't know. It's going on a very long time. It is. So the make come like put it like this. We are just. A... Sorry, my internet shit. I was going to say your internet just broke up when you said we're just. And then you didn't tell us how just we are. Okay, Wait, we've, got, we've got this much left on the first page of a four-page walkthrough. Holy shit bags! Right, okay. So, uh, like Thimbleweed Park, we may not finish Grim Fandango, <laughs> but hopefully we give you enough to <laughs> attempt you... You might want to attempt it yourself without the mistakes we made. Um, but if... You, you still want to carry on next week? We can do part three next week. Sure can. And then during this week, we'll talk about how close to Christmas everything is. And we'll see how we get yeah. <laughs> The C word. You love Christmas. I'm not loving Christmas this year. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, we'll chat about that later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, if you want to email us, you can email us. It's uh, retro at snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's also the website. If you're watching us on Twitch, you know that we broadcast on Twitch every Monday from 7 o'clock. And if you're watching us on YouTube, hey, do you know that we broadcast on Twitch every Monday from 7 o'clock? Where? You, um, you do. Yeah, you do. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Discord. Yes, we've got a Discord server where you can uh, come and tell us how badly we're playing Grim Fandango. Oh, or such. how well we're doing. You yeah, know. All that. All that. Constructive criticism is the way to go. Or hints and tips. Yeah. I'll do. I'll do. So, uh, yes, join us over there, and we'll be back at the same time, same place next week. I've been Math. I've been big. Oh, our naughty cluster on this naughty show. Naughty cluster, yeah. yeah. Um, this has been Stug Radio's Retro Lounge. Till next time, play something retro. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>